Hello everyone, I'm David with Softron. Now, I showed you already what we revealed at NAB, but I want to continue that about how we are going to do this new CG squeeze back. And it's important to know that we just released on the site the new user manual for on the air CG3. So the team has been hard at work at putting that together, and it actually includes how to make the squeeze back, but I'm showing it here in this video. So let's start. The first step in On The Air CG Designer is making sure your project is the same as the output in On The Air CG Server. So here I have 720p, but I'm actually going to change it to 4K30. The next part to address in CG Server and CG Designer is the inputs. I've added an input into CG Server. Now you can see here I'm just using On The Air Video at the moment. So let's go to CG Designer and we're going to add the live input. The name automatically comes up as live source and we can choose what the signal is going to be. The names of the live sources need to match between CG Designer and CG Server. There's two reasons we need that. First, you might be designing on one machine and outputting on another. The other reason is that this also makes it easy to change which input card is being used for the live source in the future. Okay, now that that is set up, let's start working on this project. I just need to add my live source. I'm going to position where I want the squeeze back to happen. Then I add a pause. I go to the first frame of the video. Then we're going to choose the new effect, move and scale. Then click edit geometry. With that edit in geometry, we're going to see that we're editing. I'm going to move it into position and I'm going to make it full. Hit the check mark to apply. Now we're going to go to the timing duration. I'm going to make it a little bit more than half a second. And now we're going to see it animate full to small. Now you might be wondering why did I start it in the squeeze back and animate it full? That's because when I want the project to start, I want it to start full. I go to the first frame of the video. Then I add a pause. So we're going to do the same thing on the out transition. I'm going to move the timeline forward and then I'm going to turn off stay forever and adjust the hold duration. I'm only going to keep it at 0.3 seconds. I'm going to edit it again, move it into position, change the scaling. Hit apply, then add a duration on the out transition. I'm going to do 0.6 seconds like the in point. And then save it. So now my graphics starts full animates to a squeeze back position and animates full again. In CG server, we just need to add the project and click the loop function. Then I will hit play. I'm showing it here that it started full. And now I'm going to hit play again and it's going to squeeze back and play again and it's going to go full again. And you can see it's looped back to the beginning. Okay, so let's address that background. So I just have a shape item here. I've just added this and added a gradient. Then I've added some logos and I've held them all on stay forever. So very simple background here. I've saved it and I'm going to do reveal in finder and put it behind my squeeze back. All right, so we still have the squeeze back on loop and now my background. So I'm going to hit play on this. Let's advance and play again, and it's gonna go full again. So that's how you do the squeeze back in On The Air CG Server 3.6. And 3.6 is already available for everyone who already has CG Server 3. Thanks for watching this clip. Make sure to subscribe to our channel as we add more. And if you have any questions, you can always reach, uh, reach out to us via the website, softron.tv. Thanks for watching.